Hey there, this is Cynthia Andrews, naturopathic doctor and energy intuitive, and I'm here with my husband, consciousness researcher Colin Andrews, because we really just wanted to spend a few minutes providing a meditation technique to alleviate anxiety and help activate the body's innate healing mechanisms. So Colin, did you want to say a few words? Yes, uh, thank you, Cynthia. Well, like so many others, yourself included, uh, you know, I'm receiving numerous messages of concern from family, friends, and the general public. Naturally, we're all worried about the dramatic changes to our lives and their well-being from the sudden onslaught of this coronavirus. We're all stressed and could benefit, I'm sure, by settling our minds and keeping our spirits up. I know that applies to me too. I have a new page on my website with helpful links for all who are looking for more information or a lighter moment or indeed a morale booster. Don't we need that? It will be updated several times each day. I'm doing that now for as long as possible. My website for those with a pen handy is www.colinandrews.net or you can find me on Facebook searching of course for Colin Andrews. So with that, with, uh, let's, let's keep this moving, sending all of my love and support to everyone. Cynthia, over to you, because of course, we are all in this together. Well, let me join Colin in extending my care and concern and healing thoughts to everyone. We are in this together, and now is the time to help each other through it. So I know everyone is inundated with information, and I will make this short. Like Colin, I am hearing from many people who are understandably anxious and afraid, and while it's totally normal to feel anxious, at the same time, we don't want to be controlled by fear. It just doesn't help. When we're afraid, we of course activate the fight, flight, or freeze response, and in these states, it's, it's much more difficult to see solutions and to make clear decisions, and it's easy to feel like a victim and think we have no control. Well, you know, right now, there are many things we don't have control over. However, we do have control over how we talk to ourselves. I know, it seems like a very small thing. But if you think it's a small thing, you've missed the recent breakthroughs in neuroscience. It is a new field called neuroplasticity, and it demonstrates that the brain has the ability to change itself, and in changing itself, to heal the body. Neuroplasticity shows unequivocally that how we talk to ourselves changes the neurocircuitry of our brain. So, you know, these aren't new practices. Self-talk isn't a new practice. Um, these, these practices that help the brain create new circuitry are part of most ancient traditions. And many of you will remember back in the 80s and 90s, we used affirmations and visualization for healing. And of course, then we were labeled airy-fairy new agers. Now, science not only provides an understanding of why these practices work and how incredibly effective they are, but also fine-tunes them to be even more effective. And, you know, just to say it, neuroplastic techniques are being used to heal everything from Alzheimer's to paralysis. I've recently been lucky enough, actually, thanks to Barbara Shulman Kerwin, who sponsored a series of seminars here in Guilford, to learn from a pioneer in this field by the name of Lauren Maloney Gepfert. She is the founder of the Neuroplastic Functional Institute in Colorado. So Lauren is applying neuroplastic principles to helping people heal from extreme um, illnesses, you know, from situations I, I certainly would have thought to be impossible. You can check out her website at nfiheals.com <clears throat> where you can see her interview on the Today Show. She is amazing. She works with people online or over the phone. If you're sick, if you have the coronavirus and you want to work with her, go to that website, nfiheals.com, and reach out for an appointment. And if she's too booked, you know, reach out to me at andrewshealingarts.com. I'll help with as much as I know how to help with and certainly with my own work. Um, but Lauren is amazing. 
But you know, if this is the bottom line, we may not be able to immediately stop the thoughts that, that come from our fear-based beliefs, but we can use self-talk to counter them, and we can develop new brain circuitry that activates our body's healing abilities, and we can deactivate our anxiety. The thing to remember is that our body is designed to heal. It's a healing instrument. It's designed to respond to onslaughts of assault and to survive. And this incredible instrument heals naturally on its own. And at the same time, in the larger design, the mind and the heart interacts with the body to activate our healing potential through our thoughts, through our emotions, and through our self-talk. So there are nine principles Lauren lays out in her training. The first, the one we will incorporate now, is to create a rich environment in which our body can move out of the fight, flight, or freeze and free its energy and resources for healing. A rich environment is what? It's loving and kind. And to create that environment, we need to talk to ourselves with kindness. It's so simple, right? But how many of us do it? I, I know myself, I'm in constant critique mode. How often do I tell myself I did a good job? <clears throat> so right now, let's create a rich environment and do some energy balancing to help reduce our anxiety and to activate our healing. And you might want to pause here and make sure your phone is on mute. Take, Get some water, get whatever you need to be comfortable. And just to say, this is not a replacement for medical care. This is just simply to support your body's own healing. So take a pause and go get what you need. Okay, so here we are. So get comfortable in your chair Put your feet on the floor and feel the safety and security of earth. Take three deep breaths. Breathe in relaxation. Breathe out tension. Breathe in light. Breathe out tension. Breathe in peace. Breathe out tension. Energy follows your attention, so put your attention on the earth. Let gravity draw you to earth. Ground and let the earth support you. Let your muscles relax and surrender. You don't have to resist gravity. You don't have to hold yourself up. The earth is holding you up. The chair is holding you up. Even the air supports you. So as you're relaxing, notice your body. Notice where you have tension. And without trying to change a thing, offer this area the gift of your breath. Breath is life. Breath is healing. Just breathe into your tension with loving kindness and tell this area how much you appreciate it. And notice what happens. Right now, place a hand on the part of your body that feels anxious. Maybe it's your chest. Maybe it's your solar plexus. Put your hand in attention where you feel anxiety. Energy follows your attention, so when you place your attention here, your anxiety may increase with the increased energy. And that's okay. Just notice and understand this is how you increase anxiety through the day, by sending it energy. So keep your hand where it is over this area and place your attention on your feet. Let your attention open a pathway between where you feel anxiety and your feet. And as your feet connect with the earth, open this pathway into the earth. So simultaneously pay attention to where your hand is, where you feel the anxiety, and also on your feet.
Take a few deep breaths. And notice how your anxiety drains away through your feet. You can do this anytime. You are in control. Just breathe into your anxiety. Breathe into your feet. Let your anxiety drain away into the earth and know that you are in the process of complete mind-body healing and you can heal with kindness you can heal lovingly you don't need to rush there's no hurry you don't need to whip yourself into compliance you can just breathe you can appreciate the world around you and you can appreciate yourself. You are where you are for a reason. Your presence brings something no one else can bring. And right now, just by breathing, you're in the process of activating healing energy. Take in a deep breath and imagine healing light entering the crown of your head. See it filling every cell, every organ, every tissue. You have complete permission to heal. You have permission to use every ounce of light to activate your body's natural ability to heal. You can let go of anxiety. You don't need it. You can let go of fear. It's not helping you can activate your healing potential. It's okay. You don't have to join consensus reality. You get to be your authentic self. You get to be the healing machine you were designed to be. And you can do it any way you want. You can heal any way you want. It's your journey. You can do it your way. You have complete permission to heal, to let go of anxiety, to let go of fear, to be yourself. However much you do is enough. Wherever you start is the place to begin. You are exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So for the next few minutes, Visualize yourself healthy, loving, and free. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And when you're ready, Bring your awareness back to the present time. Notice how you're sitting on the chair. Notice your breath. Take a quick scan of your body and take this feeling forward into your week. Anytime you need it, just breathe. Put your hand where you have anxiety and focus on your feet. And if you're interested in learning more about neuroplasticity, one of the best books is by Norman Dodge called The Brain That Changes Itself. Pick it up. You'll enjoy it. Be well, and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Cynthia. Good luck, everybody, and keep your chins up.